Shalom, this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I have an important message about your leaders in the Christian church. Your bishops, pastors, reverends, and ministers are all lying to you and leading you straight to damnation. The truth is, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans are the biblical Israelites, according to Deuteronomy chapter 28. Jesus Christ is a black man with white wool hair, according to Revelation chapter 1, verses 14 and 15. We as the Israelites must keep the commandments in the faith of Christ to receive salvation, as it is written in Revelation chapter 14, verse 12. I've challenged and debated Christian authorities all over the world on these issues. Not one of them has been able to negate this truth. Your pastors have led you astray, worshiping pagan holidays and false gods, just as in the days of old. So join us on our mission to restore the true nation of Israel before the decree goes forth. The work is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Visit our website at israelunite.org or call us at 855-484-4842 to learn more and visit our schools. Shalom. I'm not really willing to put that type of stuff in my body because God said we were simply and wonderfully made. So okay. with that being, that means I don't need to, you know, uh, the, the, the things that the world got to offer me as far as medicine is concerned. Why? Because I'm naturally healed by the grace of God. Now I understand this. That's when you're keeping the commandments, though. Right. That's when you're going to make sure you ain't got to worry about nothing. No evil or feeling, nothing at all. Now, 2nd Ezra 16, we're going to go to Revelation. Because you remember what we was talking about? How great they lie all the time. He told you the night begins in the middle of the night at 12 a.m. That's just one of many lies. They lie to you, telling you it's a shot as well. That bulk of the beast is talking about sin. Look at that. One second. Come on. Second Ezra chapter 16 verse 21. Whoa. Behold, this rule shall be so good, cheap upon earth. Which shall be what? So good, cheap upon earth. That's talking about food. Did this not just happen to come to pass? Right. This is Bible prophecy you're talking about right now, but being fulfilled. Right. He said it's going to be cheap. 50 cent burgers, 90 cents, a dollar, a penny, whatever it was. Mm. You know it wasn't no damn good, but it's in the Bible. Watch what he says behind that, though, because it's a prophecy. Something else is coming as well. Watch. That they shall think themselves to be in good case. Our people think they're all right, right? right. They think they're good. Okay, I can afford this and I can afford that. It's real cheap. It's always a setup with your enemies, bro. That's why the Bible says to be vigilant. Pay attention. It's always a setup. Never trust nothing they're talking about. And I'm going to tell you something. When stuff be happening, bro, I lean back. When iPhones be dropping out, I sit back and I wait. Let me see. I'm going to give it a year or so and see if they got a problem with it. If anything going to happen before I touch anything. I'm just using the phone for an example. But I've done that like throughout my life to keep it real with you. Every time something pop up, I'm going to go ahead. Let me see. Let me see what happened after this and that, you know. Like, especially in the world I was doing that. Nothing new, come on. And even then shall evils grow upon earth. Most I said evils about to grow on the earth. What the hell is a sexy way? Making a lipstick or a lip gloss called gonorrhea and all this other crap, man, teaching that to our daughters and other women. Now, I didn't know nothing about it really, but I'm hearing a lot about her lately. Her, she's only 25 years old, so the young girl may not even know what she's doing. She just thinks she's making some money. But look what it's teaching our kids. I seen a video of a teacher having the kids do her song in the classroom. Not learning the ABCs, definitely not learning the truth about the Bible, like the so-called blacks, Spanish, and natives, or the Israelites, but singing her song. You see what I'm saying? And she's promoting lip gloss with nasty names. Booty hole this, down the rear that. And, and some other foolishness. You see what I'm saying? Where are the real women at? It's 2023, what happened? We gotta come back to this Bible. Not just you to be a man, but our women too, to be a real woman. Cause that's what it means to stand up and be a man or a woman, to keep the commandments of the Most High. That's why when they took us off these slave ships and start shaving our heads and our beards, they called us boy. When they shook us down, they called us boy. Threw our women in their beds and called them bad witches and had their way with them. You see what I'm saying? It says that evils are going to grow, come on. Sword, famine, and great confusion. So sword, meaning really, the death, destruction is going to be happening from these weapons. I heard uh, anybody is pretty much getting guns now. Like it ain't just Chicago and Waters no more. I think Seattle has a, a crime rate as well, and pulling it down the street. It ain't, it's everywhere now. They're allowing people to start killing up each other. The sword, all these evils are going to grow. It says the sword, what is that? The famine. What's the famine? When everything is gone, man, all the food right. is gone. Right, a sword is a fool. Have you not seen that before lately, when all the shelves are empty? Yeah, I have. Yeah, they've been stopping stuff from coming in overseas. That's all, that, all that's being done on purpose, it seems like. You see what I'm saying? But the Lord warned us of this, so what we got to do? We got to prepare. You got to guard it. 
A who? A garden. Your own veggies. Okay. Start planting your own food if you can. Whether you got a house with a backyard or apartment, do it inside. Make a little space. Make sure that you can be self-sufficient is what I'm saying. Okay, so the Lord made it to where I could be able to feed the homeless, man. Okay. So that's what I do with my business. Okay, yes, sir. I, I feed the people in three uh, locations, man, in three different neighborhoods. Yes, sir. So I'm, fe I'm feeding communities. I have access to total, a lot of food. Is this your job or? Uh, no, that's my business. That's your business. That's okay, okay. Business. I put it like that. Okay. Okay, because it was his will that I'll be able to go out and feed the people. So I so, what I'm saying is, I'm Okay, watch it. Okay, I'll you another one. But we want to make sure you're not going to miss a sin either. So, I'm going to read this. We're going to read this and try and we'll explain it to you, buddy. You got to make a choice. All right? You got to have to deal with the Lord on that thing. Because I understand you said it's your business. So, maybe it's supplying you with money. You're getting paid to do so, right? No. Oh, it's not? Oh, you're just doing it like out the goodness of your heart. I'm a heart, bro. Okay, now watch this. So, watch 12. No. So, what? Chapter 12 and verse 1. When thou will do good, you will what? Do good, you give it forth to the homes. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? How that? I think it's a good thing. It's a good thing, right? Okay, yeah. let's see what God said. You think it's a good thing? Let's see the mind of God. Watch this. No, to whom thou doest it. He said, no, to whom thou doest it. You should know the brothers and sisters that you're helping out. He's primarily talking about of your own people. I know you ain't got it yet, but watch, we're going to keep reading. So shall thou be thanked for thy benefits. Yeah. Do good to the godly man. This is why he said no to who you're doing good to, because you're supposed to be doing the good to the godly man, the yes, godly God. woman. How what makes them godly? They're gonna be of the nation of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and keeping the commandments of God yes, and the faith in Christ. Right. That's how you go to what God is. This is what God said. We don't. And thou shalt find a recompense. You gonna find a what? Recompense. You heard that word before? You know what I mean? I've heard it before, but I don't know what it means. Okay, all place. It means you're gonna find a uh, payback. You're gonna get uh, a payment like a um, you know that word? I'm smart. You said what? Retribution, retribution. God going to pay you back for that. That's a recompense. You know what I'm saying? He, he used it in a negative sense too with people being in the midst of sinning or not. That's going to always be a judgment behind that thing. That's basically what recompense means. You with me? Yeah, Come on. It. If not from him, yes, from the most high. He said, if not from him, but meaning the person that you help, it's going to come from the most high some kind of way. He's going to make sure you get blessed for being a blessing right, so to don't your don't people. Don't look for the blessing in man, but look for him. Yeah, don't look for it at all. He's telling you right now it's guaranteed to come. Right. Man, don't look for it at all, because if you can't get it back from the person you help directly, the most high gonna make sure you get it some kind of way. Yeah, but my expectation is in him, man. So oh, yeah, keep it there. Why, why ever lean on me? You know what I'm saying? I'm trusting the most high. I'm, I'm trust man. Straight up. Uh, John, it's in the Bible. Come on. There can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil. He said no good can come to him that's always occupied in evil. Why? Because he's talking about the things right above in more evils. But specifically, the things he just discussed. If you're helping people that's not of your people, that's not godly, then you're doing evil to the most high. Think about it. In Portland, there's a lot of homelessness, right? We drive around, they always got a sign, or they always got a sad face, or a dog. I don't know how you're homeless with a dog. I just, I can't get it. It's not me. I don't know. Maybe it's me. You gotta feed the dog. Too. How the hell are you homeless with a dog? I don't understand. But you give them money and you don't know what they're doing with it. That man might be a runaway from Mississippi or uh, whatever, go back mountain, and you give him food to go get some more energy, he probably gonna rape somebody else or kill somebody else. You don't know that man. That's why you ain't gotta know a reason. Just do what God say. What God say don't help nobody but the godly man. Just do it. You see what I'm saying? It's gonna always make sense at the end of the day, whether you understand it in the moment or not. Huh? All praises. I like that. Go ahead. Nor to him that giveth no alms. Uh -huh. Give to the godly man and help not a sinner. So we're going into supporting the church. You know how you said you knew you was the church? And I said, yeah, you're right, because that's in Acts chapter 7. But right? it's us, not a building or a temple made with hands. It's the people of God. We are the church that was in the wilderness. We still the church today. And every time we come together and get in this Bible, we're having church. And that's what said the Lord. He's talking about giving alms to support your church. What was the last part of that? Help not a sinner. Help not a sinner. So he's repeating the same thing. If he said to help the godly man, he's telling you not to help the sinner. If you he said here again, like you just said, don't help a sinner, he's telling you to make sure that you help the godly man. It's trying to make sure it's saints in and get in. That's what I was saying a few minutes ago. I've been reading the same things over and over so it can sink in. That's the programming that Esau tried to steal and do in reverse. That's what I was talking about, the little melodies when you walk into the store, the same commercials over and over. Even in music, you got a hundred different rappers and singers and they all got the same message. They pushing adultery. They pushing uh using drugs. They push how you doing, sis? What's your name? Cerise, where you going, Cerise? I'm somewhere to go. What's your nationality, Cerise? Real quick. African American. African American.
African American and you believe in the Bible, Sharice? Okay, so according to the Bible that you believe in, you're an Israelite, all right? Not an African American. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are God's source of people, the Israelites. You will never and never have read African American in that Bible, because it's not true. You understand? That fly in your right hand has a website. It's free. IsraelUnite.org, like I just told Derek. You can download IUIC TV for free right now. IUIC TV and learn more anytime you want all day. You understand? You got a minute that got questions, you can come over there. We're having a great conversation about the Bible that you said you believe in, right? I just want you to know. If you look like you ain't got nowhere to go, you just stop, you pause, you don't catch a crap, you keep standing like that. You might as well come on back. It happens. I get cramps out. I gotta take pills. My body, shoot. I've been through something. What you got? Yeah. Okay, okay. You got one for you. Got one for you. The book of First John, chapter three, verse four. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. So what is sin? The law, uh, breaking the law. Breaking the law. You already know that. For sin is the transgression of the law. Verse 8. Uh -huh. He that committed sin is of the devil. See what the Bible say? Yeah, yeah. He that com continues to commit sin is of the devil. I'm talking about the nation of Israel. The people outside, they already have the devil. They're not born about the seed of the children of Israel. He said, He that committed sin is of the devil. Come on. For the devil sinneth from the beginning. Uh -huh. For this was the purpose of the Son of God. Uh -huh. The, the purpose of the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. So it's how are you playing it? He that continues in sin is of the devil. It is what it is. Watch the next one. Okay, I want to Verse 9. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. So those of us that are born of God, that are repenting, you're not going to continue in sin. Right. You're going to repent. That's how you know if you belong to the Most High or the devil. That's how you know who else around you belongs to the Most High or the devil. It is what it is. So you're either going to be of God or you're going to be of the devil if you're of the nation of Israel. If you're of God, you're going to repent. Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 9. A man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directed his steps. That's why you ended up right here, bro. You had to go to work 30 minutes ago, bro. Yeah, I got to. The Most High said, yeah, man, listen, pull over. After he told you to sit there and park for 20 minutes at a green light, huh? Well, I also know that he'll work that part out. Huh? He'll work that part out. Absolutely, absolutely. Ain't no doubt about it, brother. You said to trust in the Lord, man, in all your ways, you won't always be all right. No matter, hey, our forefather Joseph was put in prison, bro. His own older brothers wanted to kill him at first. The man ended up as the right hand of Pharaoh. Could you imagine Reuben right now in America being next to the damn president, his advisor, or whatever the hell they call it? Can you imagine that shit, bro? All you gotta do is keep the commandments and it's never nothing to worry about. I don't give a damn what that do. All that means is that God allowed it for the time to be. If you trust him, you end up right. One of the officers said that shit earlier, and that's real. All you gotta read, what do you want before you go? Verse 7. When a man's ways please the Lord, when a man's ways please the Lord, when he's keeping the commandments, when he's keeping the Sabbath, when he's saying, oh, but I ain't going to work. And you got Instagram or Facebook or something? And you get online later and say, man, I stopped today and I talked to Israel humanity Christ, bro. I had to go to work and I stopped and this is why. I wanted to keep the Sabbath. I wanted to learn how to not break God's commandments. I know I'm an Israelite. I know we're the best damn thing on the planet. And you start doing that, we don't. He maketh even his enemies. What? Enemies. Yo, enemies. Enemies don't like it. What they call ops? That's what they call them today. I'm old, old age. I'm about your age. You're probably a little younger than me. The ops, they don't want to do nothing for you. He said he may give you your enemies you want. To be at peace with him. They'll look out for you. They're going to be at peace with you. Your boss might say, you know what, man? You're a little late. You stop for some reason. I don't know why, but go ahead back to that corner. They might still be there. And if they not, go ahead to the school on the back of that flyer. You know why I know? Because I've seen them before. You think them devils ain't watching? Yeah, they watch it. They know every damn thing. They Cameras they everywhere. Probably been riding around the whole Yeah, look, with tinted windows and all that. Yeah. That's how they move. That's how they move. We don't worry about the... Family.